So Janine, you have mentioned several times the concept of the time span of 1,335 days. I was wondering if you could tell us where that time span, that time frame actually starts and ends and what mm -hmm. is going to happen when we reach that final tally. Okay, sure. So as I showed in our previous series, I counted that down starting from the siege of COVID, which was the 13th of the 3rd, 2020, and that ends on the 8th of the 11th, 23. Now that is what I'd shown in a previous series, but what I've since discovered is, so that, that relates to the Earth Beast, which is America. So the actions by America. But what I've since discovered is that these time frames are actually playing out with the sea beast, which is the Vatican, which I'm about to show now, which is being implemented, as I've discovered, through the royal family, through the British royal family. So that is how everything's sort of coming together. So what I'm sharing now is in the same timeline, but um, it's starting at a different date. So we've started with the Pope. So what's been happening is the first year, the Pope's been announcing everything. So 2015 was an announcement year, 2019, was an announcement year. 2016 was the Earth Beast, which is America, was the arrival of Donald Trump, who began to implement everything. And then 2020, the Earth Beast, America, began to implement what was announced by the Sea Beast, the Vatican, in 2019. So what's been going on, you've got the Sea Beast, the Vatican announcing it one year, and the very next year, the Earth Beast America is enforcing it. Does that make sense? Yes, it okay, does. Okay, great. So now that we understand that, what I've discovered is that there's these timelines are actually manifesting for the announcement year by the Sea Beast, by the Vatican, which I had not anticipated. So in regards to this 1335 days that you're asking about, this 1335 days, I've counted this starting from the Pope's announcement in 2019 for the call for the ecological conversion, which was the 8th of the 3rd, 2019. And that, if I'm, if I'm calculating everything right, if I've got the right start date and I've counted the days right, what I've found is that it ends the, tw the 2nd of the 11th, 22. So, you know, I may be wrong and um, I'm just putting it out there as a, as a day to watch, to watch for and, um, I don't want to focus too much on the dates, um, but just to focus that there's something very significant happening around this time. So does that help to ex answer? I probably should explain too that God says there's a blessing on that date. So, and that he speaks, this is the end of the vision. And so God speaks at this point. So there's some kind of revelation from God that will be manifest at this point. So that's, really all I can all I can say okay but in in terms of the diagram we're looking at there yes at the current time you have UNCOP 27 just for the benefit of the listeners and viewers I'm just trying to give them a clearer picture of what all of this means they may eventually find out themselves when it all starts to publicly emerge but in mm. the meantime mm -hmm. if you can give them again a type of roadmap that that, that will demonstrate step by step what what is on the horizon or what, sure. what is likely obviously predicting the future with 100 percent certainty is is perhaps an impossibility but if you yeah. could at least give them some sort of guidance on what what the next phase of the journey is going to be for sure well we know the world economic forum have um they're definitely planning to roll out the great reset which we know includes famine economic collapse um it the end of um private property, um, digital currency, digital identity, um, bio-digital identity. In other words, your digital identity will be in your body, which will be a mark of the beast. I suspect there's going to be a mark with a quantum dot technology patch on the back of the hand that will write a QR code underneath your skin in, in um, luminescent crystals that will be read through infrared. 
um, so I suspect that's coming but that's going to be connected to Sunday worship so you'll have to agree to worship on Sunday to get this to be able to function in the system so this is what is planned like I'm referring to what their agenda is but in terms of significant events that are coming up um, leading into November um, we have this United Nations COP27 conference that begins on the 6th of the 11th, 22. Um, there, there's a hugely significant event happening here. They're going to be meeting in Egypt on the Sinai Peninsula. Um, while all of the religious leaders of the world go up the what is believed to be Mount Sinai but we've since discovered it's not the correct one it was found by Constantine's mother um, and they are going to be proclaiming on the 13th of the 11th 22 that's our end date with the um, with the triangle there um, they'll be proclaiming a universal new Ten Commandments which is not the Ten Commandments that that God gave from the real Mount Sinai which as I've been sharing with you this before I even knew this was going to happen I've been sharing how this has been discovered the real um, Mount Sinai the real Red Sea crossing the real Exodus route and um, the real mountain that is burned on top so God really literally was there all the rocks are burnt and um, the, ten, the real Ten Commandments have been found as well and so but they are going to be proclaiming this new eco Ten Commandments um, that will be like an earth covenant um, that will be replacing the Ten Commandments so there will be no recognition of relational responsibility to God or to one another and that bodes very ill for our world it bodes very ill for um, for peace and harmonious relationships um, for for this to be enforced because it is Baal's morals that are being enforced here so this is um, you know I can't emphasize how hugely significant this is this will bring the whole world to a test or bring all the nations to a test it is the mark of the beast and um, it is about to be enforced on the world and um, I think it's very interesting that just before this event um, on the 8th of the 11th you've got the US election with this um, blood moon that will be in the sky which is the final blood moon of another tetrad of blood moons now I didn't realize that they are occurring but they've been falling over 21 22 and um, yeah I just like to sort of highlight that that could be indicating that the US election is going to be um, you know a um, a crisis event for the nation we know that they want to stir up civil war so they can bring in the United Nations armies and very likely trigger you know world war and trigger an attack on America so um, again you know the the message is um, you know be prepared um, there's some you know colossal events that are likely to happen and are going to happen and um, you know to withstand the mark of the beast God warns in the most severe language in all the Bible that it will be hellfire for anyone who um, who takes the mark of the beast now that's not God's threatening you saying I'm going to give you hellfire um, it literally will result in people who want to stick with the system and stay with Babylon um, and take the mark of the beast um, they will remain in the cities and the cities will face destruction so it's not really a very safe option so the um, you know the the message is an encouragement to to leave the cities as soon as you can um, take your money out, money out of your bank plan to live outside the system off grid and um, there's lots of ways of doing that I've got a, um, a channel over at telegram called empower up exclamation mark where I'm exploring how to do these things so join me over there and and we can um, explore how to do these things thanks Robert